<laughs> All right, a little bit of classic music by the original R&B diva. How you doing, Mr. Shante? <laughs> so How tired of these wannabes coming up in my studio, wasting my time stinking up the room. Oh, no. <laughs> you know how they do. Oh, my gosh. They pop up Canal Street. <laughs> they come in thinking they're wearing Chanel. It says Channel. Channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't have the little card on the inside of the bag. Yeah, you know? no, honey. It's like, it's, like, it's like white on the inside. <laughs> they think they're wearing Charlie, and it's Charlie with two E's and not an I. You know Uh-oh. I mean. we, don't, we don't do that. Honey. <laughs> Send them up to the concourse. How are you doing? Anyway. <laughs> I'm Larry Flick here on Sirius XM LQ. Different people bring out different moves, and you are already bringing, making me evil. Uh-oh. I'm Mrs. Shanti. Uh-oh. Look, first of all, look at you. What happened? I look fabulous. You look I? fabulous. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I where, appreciate it. Where have you been? Uh, working, working everywhere. See, this is the thing that I love about you, because... You are already, uh, we, we haven't gotten into your story, but I already know that you're smarter than the average girl because, first of all, you look fierce. <laughs> well, Second of you. all, you're not working at the D'Agostino <laughs> weighing my cucumbers on a Sunday morning. <laughs> and you're not wearing channel uh, a channel purse. So. No, mine is real, doll. <laughs> so Over there, the big limited edition. It has a seat okay, of its own. <laughs> okay. Which means, which means, 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 someone got you good papers from back in the day. <laughs> Absolutely. Good Absolutely. for you. Good for you. <laughs> so, you've been keeping busy? Yes, I'm building my brand as we speak. You yeah. know, you have to set up platforms for yourself nowadays, you know, and uh, there's a lot of things going on. I'm really, really excited. So know? let's let's take them piece by piece, can we? We shall. Uh, first of all, I congratulate you on, on being smart enough to know that you needed to take a time out and disappear for a minute and figure things out and, and sort your business out. Absolutely. Without throwing... A single blah 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 feature in Ashante, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like you're not turning up on some tangy track, you know, <laughs> pretending you have it all sorted out and you don't, right? So you went away for a minute to mm -hmm. figure it out. Mm -hmm. What was that time like when you? What was it like when you decided that you needed a minute to figure it out? Well, I think it's a combination of industry changing as a whole. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's about being happy, knowing what you want, and how to accomplish it. Um, you know, dealing with execs and the way things change in the labels is really something that you have to adapt to because it's a lot of things that are beyond your control. So in order to get that control back, you have to kind of sit for a minute, sort it out and know what you're doing and have an amazing team. And so how did you, in your personal private moments, deal with what people who didn't know what was really going on with you were saying? That, you know, Shanti's over, where's that girl, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think it's really essential to use hate as motivation. You know, they're little stones that you step on to complete building your brand. <laughs> you like that analogy, huh? I stones, do, very much so. stepping, building brands. I like that know? very much. I like that very, very much. <laughs> so, um, how did you, when we met you all those years ago, not all of them, but you know what I mean, mm -hmm. when you were just a baby. And, uh, and you were, uh, you know, the latest singer by a whole big production team, blah, blah, blah. Um, how did you know not to make the wrong move with the wrong people? Um, again, it is so important to have an amazing team. I have a great family structure my parents are still together i have a very close-knit family and i think you you can't become the fame you can't become the industry you have to stay who you are and work the industry so it's really really important to have a foundation right but whatever it is that you do if you're you know whatever industry you're in corporate music entertainment whatever you have to have that core foundation and know where you stand and don't let anything else kind of infiltrate and change who you are and so were there moments when it was so seductive to take the wrong turn because you were mixed up with some pretty powerful people mm -hmm. who would scare me and i'm twice your size and i'm a dude <laughs> so they would scare me so um let me rephrase this question 
What was that conversation like with your mother when you thought you might take the wrong turn? Because I remember the last time we talked, and on your record you wrote this beautiful song about your mom. Mm-hmm. And so I know what your mom means to you. Absolutely. So tell me about that conversation with your mother when you were like, not sure, and she was setting you straight. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even label it as one conversation. You know, I think the, the, the relationship that I have with my mom, obviously, you know, she's my manager, momager, holler, the first original momager. But um, our relationship is, is more of a friendship, you know. And like I said, she's there for guidance, and we all collectively talk about you know, what moves to make. And obviously, the ultimate decision is mine. So I don't think it ever came up like, okay, do I go left? Do I go right? Do I go left? Do I go right? I think collectively, we sat down and said, okay, there's an issue. There's a problem. Let's sit down and find the resolution. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's more of what it is as opposed to just sitting down and saying, okay, A, B, C, left, right. It's, it's so much more to it. It's so many layers. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's essential. You know. All right, all right. Talking to Ashanti here on Sirius XM Al Q. I'm Larry Flick, and uh, all right. So you take a time out, mm -hmm. and you start regrouping, planning, plotting. What's the first thing you plan for that? For, for the big return. The first thing I plan is being focused, clear my head, understanding, and adapting. <laughs> Like I said, the industry, the economy is completely different than 2002 when I first came out. You know, we're surrounded by different people. Radio has changed. Labels have changed. Uh, strategic formulas have changed. So it's about adapting to what that is. And I think the first step is definitely staying true to yourself. You know, my passion is music. I love writing music, but music is dying. So you have to have other outlets to, you know continue to build that brand because that's the focus you know so you line up film you line up television you line up books and it's all about timing and aligning the stars and having the right people behind you and knowing what you want you know i think it's really important to own you know i'm on that path of if i'm doing something i want to own half of that i need to executive produce that <laughs> you know i need to you know i need to collect that check and have my creative input you so know. so let's take it one hour so uh, film what can you tell me about things on the film tip reading? there are a lot of things going on and i must say um larry <laughs> yes, <Mrs. laughs> that this is a very premature interview i didn't know we were going to be you know well you know i didn't what? know we was going to be the, the the hamburger and hot dog on the grill today baby <laughs> honey no what? i thought you were going to be the steak on the grill baby what, what? what? you selling yourself short now well, you got a channel back after all, Mr. Shanti? No, it's that, you know, you, you, you early on the info. You well, know, I don't you know, like that, to, I don't like to give my honey, jewels out too early. <laughs> Look at it, Tony. Really? Really? <laughs> and that goes for all the jewels, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the jewels, baby. Well, what can you, t what can you tell me just a little um, bit? Honestly, I think it's going to be an amazing year. Everything that I just mentioned, film, television, music, books, all in the works. Um, and it's been a while like we've been lining things up for the past almost two and a half three years you know and and it gets a little frustrating because you i'm the type of person i want to see results right now i want to do it now i want it to happen right now but in order for it to be as big as it possibly can you have to build that platform and All that right. was one of the hardest things is to wait you know what i mean oh yeah so like i said everything that i've spoken about we've been in development with so many amazing Oh, give me a little taste. Give me a, what the, what they call oh them the culinary <laughs> Give me a bouche. Well, let's just say that, um... You're working with a movie star, aren't you? Who is it? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. What, do you smell it in the air? <laughs> well, it ain't no cheap Canal Street oh, cologne. No, not something. at all. Wait, not wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Keep smelling, keep smelling. <laughs> but um, there is a project that I'm working with Mira Savino on um, that has to do with breast cancer. And we're reaching out to Patti LaBelle, Gladys Knight, um, Angela Bassett. You see how she just did that to everybody? You see how she just turned? <laughs> but there are, there are a lot of things. And I like again, I don't like to speak too premature. I like the things to be signed to. Who must be a big star? On, on the dotted star. line. To, legend. To, to, We're talking legend, aren't we, about it. Legend. Who, to, who is it? Who is it? Oh, Larry. Who is it? <laughs> Larry Love. Give me initials. Give me initials, For girl. the love of love, Larry. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't tell you yet. Uh, I have to. It, it has to be interesting. You have to have me back here. 
See, I have to keep the the the, the hook. I have to keep the hook coming. So you'll have me you back, and then I can keep it back, up. If you come back with some chitlin actor, <laughs> you're not gonna read you, right? You know I don't eat chitlins, honey. <laughs> Not. I don't do chitlins, <laughs> darling. <laughs> All right, so so are you are you making music? Absolutely, I have a, a a huge meeting actually after this to go and tie a lot of those little loose ends up. I'm very very excited. You know what? I should have showed you some I of my feel pictures. Like we're on a first date. You ain't telling me. 